Each of these people uh, are giving their lives to Jesus already, but baptism doesn't save you. So if you've never been baptized, uh, you need to do it. But it's really, uh, scripture tells us it's going down and aligning ourselves with the death and burial of Jesus Christ. But when we come up out of that water, it's signifying the day that we're gonna see Jesus face to face. And so there's a sense to where they're going into this water, like a tomb-like thing, death and burial of Jesus Christ. When they come out and we're all cheering and lights are flashing, it's like that one day when we're gonna see Jesus face to face. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. So here we go, let's start out with you and tell everybody your name. Peyton. Could you hear her? Uh, my name is Peyton. <laughs> and uh, uh, Peyton, when did you come to the Lord? Um, I've grown up in the church. I was baptized as a baby, but about a year ago, I've come to know him again, and I want to rededicate my life to him. Okay, let's turn like this. Why don't you join me in prayer, but you guys can keep your eyes open. I, I'm going to... There we go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for Peyton's life. Uh, as I've gone to know her over this last year and a half, I just thank you for the joy that she is, the way she's been a blessing, the way she's served, um, the way that she acknowledges you in so many different areas. And here's another one, publicly declaring. And so I pray, we pray for her. We pray as a young woman of God that she would be strengthened, encouraged, and growing in her faith. And so now, Peyton, I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Santana. And Santana, when did you come to Lord? 15 years ago. 15 years ago? And you guys just started coming here, right? Yes. So that's awesome. And uh, so excited to get baptized as a family. And so let's just pray for Santana. Heavenly Father, thank you for Santana. Thank you for his uh, leadership and his family and wanting to be a part of this together. Uh, we give you thanks and praise. Would you continue to grow him in his faith? and honor him in his faith. And Lord, bless him as he wants to be a blessing to so many people. So now, Santana, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tell everybody who you are. Sienna. And Sienna, when did you come to the Lord? About five. When you were about five? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. You, you like it here so far? Yes. Okay, good, good. Good, because if, if you didn't, I'd hold you down just a little more. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Let's, let's pray. Sienna, right? Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for Sienna and her life. Uh, again, another young woman in a tough, tough world. Lord, would you uh, help her just to shine bright, to always uplift you, that you would be glorified in and through her and keep her strong in her faith. And so now I baptize you, Sienna, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tell everybody your name. Alexia. Alexia, and when did you come to Lord? Um, I was born again when I was 12, backslid a little bit, now I'm trying to rededicate my life. Oh, good, good. Are those tears of yes. joy in your eyes? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, uh, let's pray for Alexia. Heavenly Father, thank you for Alexia and her life. Thank you for, as a mom, uh, uh, she just, uh, it's always tough. And watching her kids and, and uh, the joys of marriage and family. And Lord, we just really pray that you would strengthen her also. And so now, Alexia, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have one more baptism uh, coming up right here. Hi, 
Hi, my name is James. I'm an uh, older brother of, I already know her name, would you like to share your name? Uh, my name's Amanda. And I'm going, and I'm going to baptize her today. Uh, Amanda, when, um, when did you come to know the Lord? I am very young, but I lost my way in the last couple of years, and it's been a rough road, but I'm happy to wear it now. Thank you. All right. Heavenly Father, um, I just thank you for Amanda and her life, and I thank you for what you've done. I just need the blood of Jesus over her. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be chosen to baptize her. And um, Lord, I, I ask that every spiritual gift you, you've you made, that you give it to her. And I'm so excited for her walk and her journey. And um, I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. excited uh, but you know really in Romans 6 it tells us that when we go underneath the water we're aligning ourselves with the death and burial of Jesus Christ but when we come out of this water that it's signifying that one day we're going to see him face to face and so when you guys are cheering and shouting out it's like this moment of heaven and glory and so they're all excited about that and I'm excited and so Linda let's, let's uh, baptize you okay uh, you can join me in prayer but you can keep your eyes open uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for Linda. Thank you for her life. Uh, thank you, uh, life well lived and living for your glory. And here's this moment of getting baptized because it reveals it's never too late to get baptized. And so would you bless her? Would you continue to honor her all, with all the rest of the days of her life? And so now I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We get a grandpa gets to baptize us. that I want to devote more of myself and all of myself towards God. I'm Bill Davis, and this is my grandson, and I'm honored and privileged to baptize him today. So because of your faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. to do she wants to make that decision to follow Jesus for herself and uh, and and yeah and so she she has said she told me that she's kind of said that she's all in since high school but it is now that she has decided that she wants to put those words to action in this moment and so she wants to get baptized yeah 
So, uh, Ellie, can we just pray for you right now? All right, let's pray for you. Dear God, thank you so much for Ellie and uh, what you're doing in her life. Thank you so much that uh, you are clearly doing something new in her right now. I see it. And uh, I just, we just all pray over her right now, God. We just pray that she would continue every single day to surrender to you, call you Lord of her life, God, that she would continue to put her faith in you, God. And I just pray for those moments that she, that she messes up, because we all will. I just pray that uh, she would be reminded every single day that you are waiting for her with open arms. I just pr pray that you bless this journey. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we're going to baptize Ellie in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. church and uh, has gone to multiple different churches, but it wasn't until he came to Authentic Life Church where he kind of, uh, he was loved by the community and he felt welcomed in. And so it was kind of the love of God through people that made him want to make this, this extra step to be baptized today. And so we're just excited for you, man. Uh, will you guys join in praying for Matt with me? Dear God, uh, thank you so much for Matt. I thank you so much for uh, how you are clearly working in his life as well. And uh, I just pray for his journey, this, this new journey with you, Jesus. I pray that he would continually, every single day, seek you out and that you would just become number one in his life and that he would just set all his eyes on you, God. Um, we're so excited for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so Matt. I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Woo! 